people, animals need dentists too. However, we can't ask them to sit in a chair and say, ah. So in the zoo world, we have a lot of other tools in our belt that actually help us to provide them with good preventative dental care. So here at the zoo, good dental care starts with their animal's diet. We try and replicate as much of their natural diet as possible here at the zoo. And this is not only for their um, health and their benefit in terms of their nutritional content, but also in terms of their dental health. In order to try and replicate diets in their native ranges, um, we try and offer very, very similar diets. So an example would be with gorillas and giraffes, so two species that really like a lot of browse and natural vegetation. And we try and replicate that by giving them a lot of cut brows. And this allows them to chew really aggressively um, and really clean their teeth. Another example are rodents. They have um, continually growing teeth. And if we don't provide enough fiber and roughage in their diet, these teeth can overgrow, requiring medical attention. So we make sure their diets are high in fiber and high in roughage to wear their teeth down as naturally as possible. Another big example are our carnivores. So carnivores in their native ranges would be eating a lot of natural prey, which includes a lot of bones, which they can kind of grind um, their teeth on and chip a lot of that tartar off or even prevent tartar from forming. Here at the zoo, we can try and replicate this by giving um, lots of different varieties of bones. So our lions that are larger carnivores would receive big shank bones that they can really get their teeth into, whereas our smaller carnivores like wolverines would get smaller rib bones so that it's really representative of the size of animal they are. So another thing we do here at the zoo that promotes really good dental care is training. Um, a lot of our animals are actually trained with an open mouth behavior, which allows the keepers to get a really detailed look inside their mouth it allows them to detect some of these dental issues really early on and let the vet staff know so we can um, get involved sooner rather than later. So in addition to allowing us to look inside their mouth, uh, some of our animals actually allow us to brush their teeth. An example of this is our black rhino, Rosie, and she allows us to put a bristle brush, a bottle brush inside her mouth to scrub her teeth to chip off some of the tartar that has developed. Another example of um, a medical behavior through training are our gorillas, and they allow us to not only brush their teeth, but also rinse their mouths out as you would at home with an oral rinse to keep their oral hygiene high. So all of these things, both the diet component, but also the training component, goes a really long way in preventing dental issues from happening. However, sometimes teeth get fractured, tartar builds up, medical attention is required. In this instance, we often have to do procedures under anesthesia, and this is either going to be at the hospital or down on grounds if an animal is too large to bring to the hospital. Examples of this include Tiger Jupiter, who was brought up to the hospital for a root canal involving a specialist, um, and Brutus Brown Bear, who was too large to bring to the hospital, so we had to take the entire clinic, including all of our dental equipment, down to his building for his procedure. So we do a lot of dental care ourselves here at the zoo. We have an amazing technician staff that do a lot of our scaling and polishing and some of our routine dental maintenance. But when um, there are more in-depth issues such as fractured canines or teeth needing root canals, that's when we bring in our dental specialists. They come with a lot of expertise and we often reserve them for some of these trickier cases. As you can see, there is a lot that is involved in providing good dental care of our animals here at the zoo, which is just one small piece to make sure that our amazing animals are as happy and healthy as they can be.